Binge watch and learn on DRS clips. Are you comfortable talking about the steroid side of things? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So because uh, everything that I, I I put in my body, you know, I, I was doctor prescribed, you know. So, yeah. And and uh, every four four months, I would get a uh, checkup, make sure liver was right, kidney was right, uh, heart was right. You know, I have everything checked. Was there ever a phase I where I never had a problem? There was never a phase where something was wrong, like the heart, kidney, mm -mm. because a doctor was guiding you through exactly. the whole process. Through the whole process, this and what, I was getting everything checked out. This is what most people don't understand about using steroids. Yeah, that yeah. you need a doctor to write you a whole plan. Yeah, a regular and gym you, trainer it, may or may not be able to help you. You need to have your body checked out at least every, at least six months. You know, don't 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 go six months without checking it. You know. What? I've I've never went six months without checking it. Even now. When was the first time you took steroids? Uh, see, it was probably nineteen ninety five or nineteen ninety six, somewhere in there. You were twenty nine, thirty. I was thirty years old. The first time ever. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can remember, you know, like it was yesterday, <laughs> because I was so afraid to do all that stuff back then. You know. Who told well, you to do it? Well, I got a lot of information from Flex Wheeler. He gave me a lot of information. You know, it Flex had, you know, he he'd been around, he won a lot of stuff. And I'm like, man, I wonder, wonder what he's doing. So you want to find out from somebody what they're doing, you go straight to them and ask them. You don't go to, a, you know, some fan on the street or you don't go to his friend. You go to him, you know, and, and hopefully he'll tell you, you know. And with Flex, he, he, he was... Quite honest with me, because everything he told me, you know, worked. <laughs> Do you remember the dosage and what you took? Uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, don't worry. You know, it's been so long ago. Uh, it was just normal. I just know it was like normal dosage. It, people think I took, you know, like massive, massive amounts. I'm like, no, no. If I took massive, massive amounts, I don't think I'd be sitting here, you know. Like I said, you know, the amounts that I took, uh, I always checked and made sure that my body was functioning right and everything was functioning right. That's why I, I looked like I did on stage. You know, even though I was big and muscular, I looked healthy. If you go back and look at some, you look at my skin, you, you know, you know, some guys, their skin is bad when they up there <laughs> like that. I didn't have a lot of, my, my skin wasn't bad at all, you know. I, I I see it for myself because <laughs> I'm looking at the other guys with all these pimples and all this red marks all over their body. And I'm like, holy hell, no, I wouldn't want to look like that. You know, and all these veins everywhere and crazy. Like, oh, man. Uh, uh, I ain't trying to, I'm not trying to go out like that. You prioritized your health, which is exactly. why you did it with a doctor. Yeah. And because your health was great, your training turned out great. Yeah, my and my body turned out great too, on stage. Yeah, my and question everything. to you is, were there guys who probably did a bigger dosage than you oh, did? Oh, I know for a fact, though, I talked to a few of them that did, you know, like, mm, no, dude, I'm like, they ain't doing nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this also a culture in the US because it's a culture in India where a lot of gym trainers actually give 18 year old steroids. They give teenagers steroids. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's a culture there. Oh yeah. It's, that is a culture. Course. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, do you have anything to say about that? Like, hey, <laughs> you know me, I don't judge anybody. I always say to each his own, you know, people going to do what they want to do. You only got one life to live. It is up to you to live it how you want to. Uh, for me, you know, I don't want nobody telling me what to do. You know, I, like you say, I, I didn't take steroids until I was like 30 years old, you know. That was because that's what I wanted to do. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I didn't feel comfortable doing it till I, I was that age. I think my concern is all the other stuff that you have to take with steroids to do it in a safe way for the sake of your liver, your kidney, exactly. your hair. Exactly. That's what they don't know about enough. Not exactly. every trainer knows about that other stuff. Yeah, and I, I read a lot before I, I even took I read books, you know. I'm, I was... I, I was <laughs> I wanted to do it as safe as possible. I'll just say it like that.
Yeah. Because I was so afraid to do it. And there's easily a way that it can go wrong if you don't do it in a safe way. Yeah, and I don't understand people that don't do it's, it safely. It's, it's because of the lust for that kind of a body. Yeah, yeah, you got a point there. Yeah, exactly. You know, but especially when it's... They deep. don't think about what they are doing to their bodies. You know, they just want to be big and muscular can I, take, I never had that desire because i was always big and muscular <laughs> can i take you back to 1995 the first time you did it yeah um when you did the steroids for the first time how does it feel like what changes in your body you're able to absorb more protein and you're able you to go what? harder i didn't even think of it like that i'm i, I was just thinking of you know this is what i gotta do to compete gotcha yeah, and I can remember kind of like looking at myself. I'm like, and you know, when I, while I was doing it, you know, I, I didn't I didn't see the changes. I didn't see the changes till I got the the magazine in my hand. I'm like, whoa, I, I changed. <laughs> you know, because I'm not a mirror person. You know, I, I don't just get in the mirror and just flex and <laughs> you know how I look to myself. And I, I've never ever done that ever done that even to this day i haven't never looked in the mirror and to see how i look you know as i'm speaking with you i'm realizing that the football player inside you is very much alive yeah, and that yeah. football the sports the, mentality yeah, and, and, and then the normal guy is also alive in me because <laughs> when i'm if i'm in the mirror is to either do my hair or brush my teeth or something like that it's never to see how my muscles are okay I always relied on other people to tell me how they look, not myself. How does it feel having that much testosterone in your body? To me, it's normal. Everything is normal for me, you know. I don't even notice it because I was even I was even stronger before all of that stuff. Remember I was telling you I was trying to deadlift 750 and I got it, you know, without steroids and stuff i was strong i was deadlifting and squatting seven eight hundred seven pounds seven hundred pounds without it uh, i was lifting bench press and stuff like that without it 400 pounds without it so to me you know it didn't make a big big difference you know it ain't like uh one day i was doing 200 pounds and the next day I was doing 400 or 500, you know, it, 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 everything was always gradual, you know, it was like, now I'm at 500, I mean, now I'm at 600, now I'm at 700, you know, now I'm at 800. <laughs> Your focus was just the training. Yeah, it was always just the training, you know, I was never trying to, you know, like, be real strong, I, I, I'll just say it like that. Only time I was trying to be strong is when I was competing uh, in powerlifting for the most part. Does sex play a role in bodybuilding? No, I don't think so. Nothing no, at all? No, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, I, I know so. <laughs> 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 I was uh, just as sexually active Without it, if anything, uh, I, I, I wouldn't uh, sexually active, you know. But with an increase in testosterone in yeah, your bloodstream, yeah, you do you feel you don't, you don't more feel, turned on? No, you're not. It's not just the same. No, you, you, you're less turned on. You're less turned on. Yeah, you're less. At least I was. I'll just say it like that. I don't know what somebody else. Why, though? Because <sighs> your body ain't used to it. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't grow up, you know, doing that. And I didn't start doing that until I was like 30 years old. Like the so, bodybuilding? Yeah, it's like I'm putting these foreign substances in my body and it's like, you know, I ain't used to that. Mm. <laughs> so I'm not going to act, you know, that way, you know. So I can guarantee you I was less sexually active without it. With, with it, I mean, with it. Because when I was getting ready for a show, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't having sex. <laughs> you weren't having sex? No, none, none at all. Were none you, all. were you letting one out once in a while? No, no, not, not you even were, that. Not you were even, retaining? No, no, I wasn't doing nothing. So I was, you, yeah. you were on no fap? Yeah, I was like no sex, no nothing. 
no masturbation, no nothing. You know, it's just like I'm focusing on trying to win the Olympia for the most part, you know. But did you consciously not masturbate for the sake of your testosterone? Or no, 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 no. It just didn't happen. It, it just didn't happen. Gotcha. No. Uh, I, I just wouldn't. <sighs> horny, I just wasn't in, into it. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm, uh, I got one thing in mind that's winning the Olympia. Wow. Uh, sex wasn't, wasn't a part of that. <laughs> it wasn't gonna help me win the Olympia. <laughs> so, uh, I don't need that. <laughs> but I do need this food and, you know, whatever, these, whatever drugs I had to take and whatever supplements I had to take. I, I, I needed all that stuff. I just say it like that. <laughs> I didn't need sex. <laughs> Does it affect your sex life having that kind of mm. muscle uh, mass on your body? No, 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 not at all. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's the same. Yeah, it, it doesn't affect you at all. TRS Clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists. Make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our homepage and reading through all the playlists.